Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to explain pulse pitching to you in MLB The Show 22. I'm going to break down the entire interface to you, explain to you what pitchers that you should actually be using with pulse because they're a little bit different than all the other interfaces that you can use for pitching. I'm going to also explain why I use it because it's one of the most ask questions that I get during live streams here on the channel, all right? But first, you guys, do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You guys, make sure you got those notifications on as well so you never miss out on live streams. We're live at 10 a.m. Central here most days on the channel, as well as missing out on videos. You don't want to miss those, man. Those videos are popping up every day, helping you guys be a better player in MLB The Show 22. Now, if you look at this real quick, you can see I started rank seasons in MLB The Show 22, 14 and Oh, and then went 14 and one. But I'm using pulse pitching the whole time. So I'm going to tell you guys how you can be the best possible pulse pitcher that you possibly can here in the game. But first, a word from our sponsor. Make sure to check out the sponsor on today's video and back for the second year, U4GM here with MLB The Show 22 stubs at the cheapest possible price. Use code BIG for 5% off. The link is in the description. All right, you guys. So we've popped into a little bit of custom practice here from the main menu of the game. If you guys don't know where you can access it, main menu, go all the way down. You'll see custom practice at the bottom left corner. We're in here looking at custom practice, and I've got my Rockies here uh, here at Coors Field for this. We're looking at pulse pitching, and a lot of people come into the stream. We're probably going to answer this question first. Why do I use pulse pitching, man? This is the most question I get asked. If I had a nickel for every time I've been asked this, I'd be a rich man. Uh, but it is crazy, man. I use pulse pitching, first of all, because, well, I'm a little bit older. Uh, I'm 40 years old. I'm a little bit older. I can't, uh, I can't move my thumbs around in all honesty. Like, uh, you need to be able to use pinpoint. Uh, it just doesn't work for me for whatever reason. I did try it last year when it was new to the game. It's just not something that I enjoyed or that really worked well for me. Uh, pulse is something that I've used since 16. That was when I actually first picked back up playing MLB the show and I started using it. Uh, I feel that I actually am very accurate with it. Um, I learned the pitcher's tendencies. That's something we're going to talk about here about how it actually works. But really, whatever interface works for you is what you really need to stick with and, and use whatever's fun for you, whatever you feel works best for you and you're most, most comfortable with. It's very important as far as hitting uh, interfaces go. Same thing, man. Have fun. Have fun. It's a video game at the end of the day. So how does pulse pitching actually work, though? All right. So with pulse pitching, it's a little bit different, obviously, than the others. You know, analog and classic, you've got meters that you're working with. And then pinpoint, you pretty much got to draw a picture on the screen to throw a pitch. So uh, and I know a lot of people want to use pinpoint and that's just the way to go. But like I said, here's another option for a lot of people. Pulse pitching works like this, all right? When you when you go in to throw a pitch, it's going to pulse, obviously, like this. Just kind of get a count going with it. That's the best way to do it, like a one, two, three pitch, you know, and just kind of get your own count, your own rhythm kind of built up with the pitch. That's how it actually functions. That how it, that's how it works. You want to hit the button to select your pitch, and then as it pulses, when it gets to the smallest point, that's where you want to try to throw the pitch. That's going to give you the perfect release, all right? And what's going to happen is that ball is going to go somewhere inside of where your pulse is. That pulse will be smaller and slower depending on the control and the walks per nine attributes on your pitcher's cards, all right? So if you're using a card that's got like 99s on both of those and he's he's really good, then you're going to have great control. You'll be able to dot pitches wherever you want. That falls into the what types of pitchers you want to use with pulse pitching. Obviously, because I said that, control pitchers and walk pitchers, walks per nine, the BB per nine attribute on cards. Whenever those are the highest, those are going to be the pitchers you're likely the most successful with with accuracy with pulse pitching. And that's what I try to stick to. Now, you'll find that great pitchers will be able to be used for you all year like that because um, lots of the great pitchers in 99s, when we get up there, they have really good control. Um, they're going to be easy to use. Now, I've been known to use a Nolan Ryan or something without great control with pulse and be very successful with them. It doesn't mean you can't. Uh, it's just uh, that's a mixture of working in a lot of off-speed pitches with Nolan because everybody sits fastball. All right, so how does it actually work for every card, though, for every card when you're using them, this is where pulse gets a little tricky, in my opinion. All right. Pulse has tendencies. So you have to learn your pitcher's tendencies. Every pitcher, whether it's Nolan Ryan or Oral Hershiser or Greg Maddox or Jacob deGrom or, or Herman Marquez here, uh, they're all going to have a different tendency to throw the ball, maybe a little bit left, a little bit right or a little bit up 
or a little bit down of where your pulse is. That's what I've always felt over the years, uh, uh, you're, you're over the years using it. So when you go to a knuckle curve, maybe you throw a knuckle curve with Herman Marquez here, you get in that pulse, it should be right here somewhere, and it's a little bit over to the left. It's gonna be on that left side more often than not when you throw pitches to the left side of where your pulse is. So now if I throw a slider, well, I know it's gonna be to this left side of that center circle. I want it to hit right here on the corner of the plate. This is where I'm gonna aim it. That one went a little bit off. Herman Marquez doesn't have the greatest control of, as far as guys that we're working with here. I don't know if we could look at the card. I was trying to actually look at him to see if we could, but, uh, but a lot of guys, this is how it's going to be. You're going to find that every time you throw with one particular pitcher, you're going to have to just get used to them. My recommendation is to go into play versus CPU games, get used to that pitcher's tendencies. Uh, you can work on parallel XP or grinding uh, just XP in general, but you're also leveling up that pitcher while you're using him and getting used to him. It's a good way to get used to your pitchers is taking them into offline games against the CPU. Uh, and, and like I said, for Pulse in particular, where you're trying to find out and nail down, is he always throwing a little bit? To, see, everything's a little bit to the left, it looks like, except that one that I went out there. Maybe we took that a little bit too far outside. That's why. Maybe we need to go right here on the corner with it and it'll back up to the left. There we go, to the left side of the Pulse. That's exactly where his tendencies appear to be. Now, you'll notice this with all of your pitchers as you use them. Once you get this down, that's how you're going to control them. So what I actually see when I see the pulse, I'm counting it, doing, getting my rhythm going with a one, two, three kind of motion or movement, but I'm not really even looking at the pulse all that much. I'm kind of looking where I want to throw the ball. So if I know I want to throw the ball, a slider on that outside corner, I'm not even necessarily looking where the ball was when I placed this pitch here. I'm looking at that pulse to the left side because I know that's where his tendency is. Of course, he threw it to the right side again. <laughs> of course he would, right? This in custom practice is going to be a little bit different than when you're in Diamond Dynasty with cards and using cards as opposed to the offline versions of these guys that are on the live roster in the game. All right, obviously we know Diamond Dynasty plays a bit differently. So when you get in here in custom practice, it's maybe not the best place to test it out. Like I said, play versus CPU games is... But we're in here doing it like this because it's easy to explain it to you. And I don't have to pitch through a whole inning facing competition. We can actually explain it and break down the process. That's why a lot of us go into custom practice to do these breakdown and uh, hitting and pitching tip videos for people here uh, on YouTube. But man, pulse pitching is definitely a viable option. I have thrown many perfect games online, uh, many no hitters. Uh, I rarely give up more than three or four runs a game. Uh, when I play online and I play hundreds of games, if not thousands of games every year in ranked. So uh, I've been using it, like I said, since 16. I've got these tendencies down where we only get a handful of pitchers added to the game each year. So it's not really difficult for me to keep memorizing it and just, you know, push it forward to the next year, use those same pitchers. So I get kind of accustomed to using the same pitchers each year, but they tend to work for me. So that's just kind of what I roll with. Check out some of the pitchers we've got in the marketplace right now that have uh, have some high control. There are some out there. If you guys are looking for good pitchers, the new Don Sutton card that came out is a great pulse option. Uh, Dornbush mentioned that to us here on the channel, so thanks to him. Uh, but yeah, that's a great one. Good control on that card, and I think it's a great pulse option. Uh, cards with a lot of break. A lot of break. Break is going to play into your tendency just a little bit. Be careful on some of the pitches that have more break than others. You know, you can look at the actual break of every pitch by hitting, pressing in your joystick stick, uh, your right joystick, and actually cycling through not just the pitch speed velocity, but the break and the control on each pitch. When you have pitches that have that high break, you're going to get a lot of movement uh, using pulse, and you can go towards your tendency a lot of times. Every once in a while, as your pitcher starts to get energy wearing down a little bit, you're going to have these where he doesn't quite throw them where you're thinking he's going to. Um, so you got to Maybe keep an eye on your bullpen a little bit more. That's that's kind of what I do. Just make sure you got guys loose by about that seventh, eighth inning, uh, just in case. But pulse pitching is definitely a great option, man. Those of us just, uh, some of us can't play with pinpoint, just like some of us can't use zone hitting. I use zone hitting, but some people can't, all right? Uh, so if you're one of those people, don't feel bad. Use whatever's fun for you. It's baseball. It's a video game. Have fun with it. Uh, and that's what we're here to do, man. So I'm here to help you guys out. If you have any questions, always ask. Always ask here. And uh, in the comments, man, I try to answer every single comment. You guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Here later this week, we've got the uh, stub making video coming out for members on the channel. So you guys are interested in becoming a member so I can get you all those stubs you need for the year. You guys can click the join button below or the link in the description also. But 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Y'all have a great one. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Peace.